Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be installing Kali Linux 2022.4 inside VMware Workstation Pro on a Windows 11 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirement. You're going to need at least 2 gigs of RAM, 4 is recommended. For hard disk space, you're going to want at least 80 gigs, as well as 4 CPU cores, the Kali Linux Virtual Machine image file. You're going to need VMware Workstation Pro, and if you don't have that installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All tools and links will be in the description below. If you found this video useful, please give us a like. Now let's get to installing Kali Linux. Okay, so I'm at my Windows 11 desktop. I have my Workstation Pro installed and ready to go. And if you don't have that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps of installing it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Kali Linux website and the official URL is kali.org. We're going to go over to the download section right over here and we're going to go to virtual machines. Now, I typically use an ISO image file uh, because I've had a lot of issues in the past. This time I'm going to be using a virtual machine image. Click on that and it's going to scroll right down here. And uh, we're looking at the 64-bit VMware version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click on the download and it's going to download the image file here it's 2.7 gigs so it's fairly large i'm going to jump over to the next step when this is completed okay the file has completely downloaded and i'm just going to go into my downloads folder and you can see it right over here and we're just going to extract this file so i have uh, seven zip and that's what i use to extract everything in here so i'm just going to open up the file folder that we have here this is a compressed file and what we want to do is extract everything in here so i'm going to just take it and drag and drop it into my downloads downloads folder. What this includes is a VMX file and the VMX file is already formatted for VMware Workstation Pro. So the only thing I have to do is go inside VMware Workstation Pro and open it up. Okay, so the extraction is now complete. You can see the folder here. Uh, if you open it up, you have all the files that you'll need for this virtual machine. At the very bottom, you'll have a VMX file that we'll be using. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize this and uh, close out of this and minimize that. And we're gonna open up our virtual machine. Okay, so I have VMware Workstation Pro 17 now open. We're gonna go ahead and open a virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on this option right over here. I'm gonna go into my downloads folder. This is the folder I had just extracted. So we'll go in there. And then we have our VMX file right over here. And here is the file that we have that we're gonna be using. We're gonna select that and we're gonna click on open and it's gonna import it into the virtual machine manager. So when I install this using the ISO image, we're setting the parameters that are already preset right over here. Uh, memory is at two gigs, processors, four cores. It's using 80 gigs of hard disk space. The network adapter is set to NAT. If you need to change any of these settings, you can just click on this edit virtual machine settings, and then you can increase the RAM or processors if you want to. So you can modify these and increase them if you want to increase the performance of your virtual machine. Uh, and that can all be done in here. What we're going to do now is just start up the virtual machine uh, for the first time and we'll click on the power on this virtual machine option and we'll watch it boot up here. Just click OK. And it's just going to boot into the Kali Linux operating system. Okay, and it brings us into the login screen. The default username and password is gonna be Kali Kali. So I'll just go ahead and type that in here. Okay, and then click on login. And there we go, we're at the desktop of Kali Linux inside VMware Workstation Pro 17. And uh, typically what you wanna do is use the operating system as your main desktops. If you wanna just jump over into full screen mode, you have the uh, option right over here. Click on that and it'll take up the entire screen. Uh, the menu bar is up here at the top which you can pin in place or you can unpin it and it hides away like that. And then you can just go into the menu and start using the pre-built applications that come with Kali Linux or install other ones. But that's how you do it. That's how you install the operating system inside VMware Workstation Pro 17. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any other questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.